Good afternoon. Welcome to the Wild Lake High School 2018 graduation commencement ceremony. Don't our graduates look great? Graduates, the hard part's over. You made it down the stairs without falling, so well done. Let's get started. But before we get started, I need to share two important housekeeping um, notes. I know we're all very excited to celebrate our graduates, but we kindly ask that you refrain from using noisemakers, horns, or other interruptions during the ceremony, especially as we're reading the names of our 287 graduates today. Please be mindful and respectful of the fact that our student leaders and many staff have worked very hard to make today very special for each student and family. We thank you for your cooperation so everyone can enjoy the ceremony. I've also been asked to share that our county executive, Mr. Alan Kittleman, sends his regrets that he is not with us today as his daughter is getting married. I think we can let that one go, okay? I think that's a, a valid excuse for not being here. Graduates, he does send his sincere congratulations and best wishes to you, the class of 2018. To begin our program, please join me in welcoming talented musician and state champion pole vaulter, Mr. Kareem D. Press for a musical opening, Neverland.
Welcome to the Wild Lake High School graduation. My name is Ana Pereira, and this is Ana Barrera. We are both from South America. I am from Uruguay, and she's from Colombia. Bienvenidos a la graduación de Warley High School. Ella es Ana Pereira y yo soy Ana Barrera. Las dos somos de South America. Ella es de Uruguay y yo soy de Colombia. Today, we're taking one very significant step into our future. But first, we're going to take a step back and thank Wild Lake High School for teaching us what the word diversity really means. Hoy vamos a tomar un gran paso hacia nuestro futuro, pero primero queremos agradecer a Warley High School por enseñarnos lo que la palabra diversidad en verdad significa. This is my story. Esta es la historia de Ana Pereira. This is my first and last year here at Wild Lake. The first three years I attended a school where diversity didn't exist, where I felt like I didn't fit in because I was different from everyone else. I was that lonely girl in the hallways and cafeteria. I was the girl that pretended to be strong, but was truly empty inside because I was unheard. And so I had lost my voice and I had lost myself. Este es mi primer y último año en esta escuela. Los primeros tres años asistí a una escuela donde la palabra diversidad no existía, donde sentía que no, podía, que, donde sentía que no encajaba por ser diferente a los demás. Yo era esa chica solitaria en los pasillos y cafetería. Yo era la chica que pretendía ser fuerte, pero en realidad estaba vacía, porque no podía ser escuchada y entonces perdí mi voz y me perdí a mí misma. The first day I arrived at Wild Lake High School, I felt the difference. The moment I saw all the flags from different countries hanging, I knew that this year was going to be memorable. Here, I recovered my voice and I could be myself again without feeling afraid of being criticized because here we're all different and unique by respected for being who we are. And that's what makes Wild Lake High a really remarkable and special school for everyone. I came here not knowing anyone and today I'm graduating with friends that became family. Cuando llegué a Warley High School, el primer día sentí la diferencia. En el momento que entré y vi todas las banderas de los diferentes países, sentí que iba a ser un año inolvidable. Acá recuperé mi voz y pude ser quien era yo en realidad, sin miedo a ser criticada, porque acá todos somos diferentes y únicos. Eso hace a Warley High School una escuela remarcable y especial para todos. Llegué acá sin conocer a nadie y hoy me graduó con amigos que se convirtieron en familia. For that reason, I am taking this moment to express my gratitude to the school that opened its doors, to the teachers that opened their hearts, and to the classmates that opened their arms. Also, we would like to take this opportunity to thank our families for their sacrifice and their unconditional love and support. Por esa razón, hoy tomo este momento para expresar mi gratitud hacia la escuela que abrió las puertas, a los maestros por abrir sus corazones y a mis compañeros por abrir sus brazos. También queremos tomar esta oportunidad para agradecer a nuestras familias por el sacrificio y el apoyo incondicional. Thank you very much and congratulations, class of 2018. Muchas gracias y felicidades, clases de 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very talented Haley Adler, Romeo Johnson, and Ms. Melissa Lund, who will perform our national anthem. Will the audience please rise and gentlemen remove their hats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Gets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, give proof through the night that our flag. 
We would now like to introduce our honored guests. From the Howard County Public Schools, Ms. Christina Delmont Small, Board of Education member. Dr. Bess Altwager, Board of Education member. Ms. Kristen Coombs, Board of Education member. Ms. Sandra French, Board of Education member. Mr. Michael J. Martinrano, Superintendent of Howard County Public Schools. Our and Mr. State Wick Wilson, Principal of Wild Lake High School. There we go. Our state elected officials, the Honorable Eric Ebersole, Vice Chairman and State Delegate, District 12. The Honorable Robert Flanagan, State Delegate, District 9. The Honorable Dr. Jerry Hills, State Delegate, District 12. The Honorable, the, Donald, the Honorable Dr. Clarence Lamb, State Delegate, District 12. Our Howard County elected officials, the Honorable Dr. Calvin Ball, Chairperson, Howard County. Council District 2. The Honorable Jonathan Weinstein, Chairperson, Howard, Council, Howard County Council, District 1. The Honorable Mary Kay Sagatti, Howard County City Council, District 4. Central Office Personnel. Mr. Frank Eastham, Chief School Management and Instructional Leadership Officer. Mr. William Barnes, Chief Academic Officer. Ms. Anissa Brown Dennis, Chief Operating Officer. Mr. Rafu Ihili, Chief Business and Technology Officer. Mr. Jahantab Siddiqui, Chief Communication, Community Workforce Engagement Officer. Mr. Mark Blom, General Counsel. Mr. James Lamont, Executive Director of Community, Parent, and School Outreach, also formerly Wild Lake Principal. Dr. Diane Martin, Director, Office of Community Outreach and Engagement. Our administrative staff, Mr. Anthony Bell, Homewood Administration. Mr. Carl Schindler, Principal Applied Research Laboratory. Ms. Marty Cherry, Assistant Principal. Mr. Pat Krause, Assistant Principal. Ms. Tammy Foyles, Assistant Principal. Ms. Amy Jensen, Assistant Principal. And Mr. Brian Raw, Director of Athletics and Student Activities. And now, our academic leadership team. Ms. Kelly Broyles, Health and Physical Education. Ms. Sue Bullock, Career and Technology Education. Mrs. Jeanette Dixon, Gifted and Talented Research. The legendary Mr. Lou Dutrow, Music Education. Ms. Laura Faro, Academic Support. Ms. Genevieve Hill, Mathematics. Ms. Sherry Malloy, School Counseling. Ms. Jamie Proctor, Science. Ms. Leanne Reed, English. Ms. Erica Strauss Chavaria. World Language. Ms. Jessica White, Social Studies. And two of our esteemed staff members, Ms. Brittany Franskoviak. And Mr. Kareem Penn. As well as our former board member, Mr. Larry Cohen. And that's all in the paper. <laughs> Loisa Komia is a stellar Wild Lake High School student.
Throughout her four years at Wild Lake, she was able to maintain above a 3.5 GPA, as well as inclusion in the Selective National Honor Society. Soon, she will attend UMBC in hopes to receive a bachelor's degree in both international relations and business administration, as well as a minor in creative writing. Her academic endeavors and aspirations not only inspire those who know her, but also those who know of her. Although Lois has changed from freshman to senior year, her kindness and passion for helping others has persisted, as well as her undeniable sense of humor. As both a friend and cousin to Lois, I can attest that after she graduates, she'll continue to do great things. I'm proud of you, Lois, and I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Lois Akumya. Akwaba, welcome parents, graduates, and esteemed guests. We are all here on behalf of our success, not only of those who are graduating, but also those in the role of parents and distinguished people in raising and encouraging us to pursue this honor. In Ghana, we say, If a bird does not fly, it goes to bed hungry. Every one of us has flown in many different ways, but we must ask ourselves if we still want more if we want to fly higher and farther to appease our hunger of being our better selves. Many of us have done well, but all of us have the potential to fly further. We have the ability to feed our hunger. Of course, standing here in this moment as graduates, we should acknowledge and applaud the things we have done and experienced within these four years. But in acknowledging and applauding ourselves, may we not neglect the question, did we do that? We stand here today and we should be proud of ourselves for making it to graduation. Graduation is a mountainous moment for all of us in our lives, but do not forget, it is also a pivotal point for us. After graduation, we have the freedom to form our lives to what we want by making the changes within ourselves. These changes must be made to feed our inner being and for us to grow. We should not neglect nor deprive ourselves from becoming a better version of who we are. I know many of us chose not to study for that test on Monday because it's not really something you can really study for or gamble with that 1159 deadline on campus. Many of us were victims of our own procrastination and laziness. We did not allow ourselves to reach our higher potential, but just allowed ourselves to drift to waiting for the four years to be up, or even waiting for that 210 to strike on that clock. I also understand that many of us gave our all in terms of what we had, despite the many obstacles in our way. I want to commend all of you for your strength and determination. I acknowledge the struggles that many of us face, being as simple as waking up every morning for school, or the struggle of maintaining a roof over your head, or, e or having to work to support your family, or even the mental stresses and pressures of just being human. But I also understand that we all had our moments. We all had our highs and lows, and it's okay. Every year that passed in order for us to be here right now had its lows, but within these lows availed the lessons we needed to experience and know. How can we reach success if we haven't understood or felt the heartbreak of failure? In Ghana, we say, Before one can rise, one must know how to fall. And so shall we claim our low moments, reminisce and laugh about them, but shall we also learn from it, move on and do better? Shall we yearn for higher moments, such as this moment right here and this achievement of graduating? These high moments are what we yearn for, what we will reach once we have experienced our lows. Because without the lows, there cannot be highs, and without highs, there cannot be lows. This is the celebration and recognition that you deserve. We all do, our families, Teachers and friends are here to honor us, but let us also honor ourselves. Let us honor ourselves by feeding our hunger. Our pursuit in feeding our hunger is what will lead to us reaching our highs, where our potential and the ability to fly further will be unmeasurable. We are all now moving on, whether that be to college, to travel, or even to start our careers. In all of these, we must give it our all. I encourage us to see the potential within ourselves and use it. In Ghana, <laughs> in Ghana we say, Change your life for time changes. 
We are no longer dependent on anyone. We are truly now independent. In being independent, we have the freedom to form ourselves into the people we choose to be. But in forming the person we want to be, we must see and be willing to pursue our potential and do better for ourselves. We must be willing and yearn to fly higher and farther to feed our inner hunger. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2018. Our first performance is the talented Miss Patricia Hargreaves singing Rise Up by Andrea Day. Thank you, PJ, for that beautiful song. Next, we have Bailey Discus, Mark Levine, Andrea Opia, and Kyle Rodder performing It's Time by Imagine Dragons.
Jim Henson once said, kids don't remember what you try to teach them, they remember what you are. Laura Wallen's unique way of relating and dedicating herself to each and every one of her students and staff is the reason why she was so loved in the wildlife community. When she won Teacher of the Year, she was so excited and surprised that her students loved her as much as she loved all of us. Wallen was my rock throughout my junior year. In her Law and the Citizen class, I remember when she discovered that Felony rhymed perfectly with my name, Melanie, and she continued to call me Felony Melanie for the rest of the year. While I don't remember every lesson she taught in that class, I do remember who she was and what she wanted all of us to be. Her humor and altruism helped her be the influential teacher of the year that we all wouldn't be the same without. Wallen was giving, loving, and respected. We learned things academically, but we really learned what Wallen wanted for us. We learned to persevere even through the hard times, to push through the things that bring us down, and to never stop chasing our dreams. I thank you, Ms. Wallen, for influencing me to be the best I can be by being who you were. Here to honor Ms. Wallen's memory is the Wild Lake Senior Chamber Singers singing I Lived by One Republic.
When that sun goes down, hope you raise your cup. Wish that I could witness all your joy and all your pain. But until my moment comes, I say, Every broken bone, with every broken bone, I swear. This next person is a great friend of mine. You might know him as his athletic self playing football and earning awards and, and medals for his outstanding job on the track team. Or maybe you know him as a member of the Afro Achievers, the president of the Green and Gold Club, or the co-founder of Voices of Color. He is one of the most positive young men you could ever meet. You can't tell when he's having a bad, bad day. You can always see his bright smiles from wild, wild, miles away. After this journey of high school, he will be moving on to bigger and better things, where he will be attending Morgan State University to continue his legacy in a new community. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce Mr. Daryl Jeffries. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We have all had our own personal experiences, and we have all made decisions, some good and some bad, that put us here at this very moment. Now, I'm going to be honest. When I was writing this speech, I was scared. And I'm still a little bit shaky now. You know, you might be able to hear it in my voice. But I was never worried, because to all, every single experience, you have to have faith. You have to believe that no matter what happens, you cannot be stopped. We all had our fair share of those things we call setbacks. And I'm sure y'all know the saying, minor setback for a major comeback. But I don't believe in setbacks. And I never really understood comebacks. If you say you came back, you will be implying that you left and then returned to whatever you had before you decided to go. You should have won what you had before you left. You should want more. Faith is not calling a setback a setback. Faith is calling a setback a direction changer. Faith is believing that no matter what happens or what you go through, you are destined for greatness and the destination will not change. <laughs> it's not easy. Your faith will be tested. Trust me, I know. High school was hard. I've been counted out. I got in trouble. I missed grades to play sports. I've been late way more than I should have. I didn't feel like I was destined for greatness. We all know what it's like staying up till 3 in the morning, working on that paper that was due at 11.59, hoping your teacher would still take it. Yeah. <laughs> I know what it's like to feel like you're failing. The good thing is you are not alone. Having faith in yourself isn't enough sometimes. So put your faith in something or somebody else. I don't care who you are, there's somebody that cares about you and there's somebody that wants to see you succeed. Put your faith in your family, your friends. Put your faith in your teachers who encourage you and motivate you. Put your faith in those who will always make you strong in your most weakest moments. The great Martin Luther King Jr. said, only in the dark can you see the stars. We have all been in the dark. 
Some of us just didn't realize that all we had to do was look up. We focus so much on what success brings that we forget what we can gain from our failures or those so-called setbacks. Inky Johnson, one of my biggest inspirations, was able, to, was able to turn something we would call a tragedy into something great. His whole life he trained to be a football player. He was a projected first round pick in the draft. That's millions of dollars guaranteed. Until one day, he went to tackle somebody in the game and he was permanently paralyzing his right arm. He was in his darkest moments, but instead of giving up, instead of being set back, he had faith. And with that faith, he was able to become a motivational speaker, an author, and an impact to millions of people across the nation. We are moving on to the next chapter of our lives. Y'all are all my family, and I have faith in every single person wearing what I'm wearing today. So promise me this. As Martin Luther King Jr. would say, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. And if you cannot walk, then crawl. But by all means, please keep moving. Class of 2018, we made it. We're here. Thank you, and God bless. Welcome and congratulations to Wild Lake Class of 2018. This year we've had the pleasure to meet a man who came in with an infectiously positive attitude and has continued to see something special in each and every one of us. This man is our principal, Mr. Rook Wilson. He grew up in Mount Airy before starting his time in college at the University of Maryland where he graduated and was fortunate enough to get a job at Wild Lake straight out of college, where he teach for seven years. He was then given the opportunity to become an assistant principal at Wild Lake and multiple high schools in Howard County. After seven years of being an assistant principal and 14 years of being a middle school principal, the opportunity to be principal of Wild Lake came his direction, and he was more than happy to return to where his career started. I asked him why. Why did he decide that he wanted to lead a school full of kids, let alone teens? At first he laughed, but then he replied by saying that Wild Lake has become a home and that this school has taught him things that he wouldn't learn on his own and that the kids here have always been able to make him laugh or smile. He genuinely loves this school and cares about the kids. That's not something that you can teach. The love he has for the school is more than evident in the effort and time he puts into making sure the school runs as smoothly as it does. He makes it clear that he truly cares about the growth of the school and the students. It is my honor to present to you Principal Wirk Wilson. Wow. DeAndre, thank you so much for that kind introduction. I know I speak for everyone, especially your mom, when I say how proud we are of you and how excited we are for what your future holds. Please, please be sure to return occasionally for a visit. Give us an update as your wonderful life unfolds. Thank you, DeAndre. Can we give him another big round of applause? Good afternoon, honored guests, colleagues, parents, family, friends, and most importantly, Wild Lake High School, class of 2018. 
It is truly a tremendous honor to share this day with you. So many persons have helped each of us make it to this afternoon's celebration. Some of you are here, some are far away. Personally, I also believe that some of them are watching over us, even though they are no longer present with us. All of us have special ones who have loved us, each of us, into being here today. In the midst of the well-deserved celebrations, I kindly ask that each of us take, also take a minute this weekend to personally acknowledge an individual who has gone the extra mile for us over the years. Along these lines, will you, everyone, please join me in giving a special thank you to all of the educators that are in the audience today. Thank you. I know we're honored to have staff from Bryant Woods Elementary School, including Principal Kelly Hoff, Longfellow Elementary School, Running Brook Elementary School, including Principal Anthony Esposito, Dunlogan Middle School with Principal Jeff Fink, and of course, staff from our own amazing Wild Lake High School with us today. Students, I've honestly grappled with what to share with you today for weeks. It is part of who we are as humans that starts and ends seem to call for profound words from old people like me. I actually prepared separate remarks that highlighted the fact that your class earned nearly seven million, yes, seven million dollars in scholarship money. And the fact that eight of you are now National Merit Scholarship commended students or finalists, and two of you were recognized by the National Hispanic Recognition Program for your tremendous accomplishments. I also thought about sharing some of your plans after graduation, including travel overseas, joining our armed forces, or attending presti prestigious institutions of higher learning, including Iowa State, University of Hawaii, Rutgers, Howard, Virginia State, Frostburg, Nebraska, and my own University of Maryland. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> However, these comments struck me as impersonal. No disrespect toward the individuals who work so hard to make these impressive facts happen, but the teacher in me wants to leave you with three simple observations about today and our time together this year. First, Please remember that today is called your commencement for a reason. While the entire audience congratulates you on the successful conclusion of your education with the Howard County Public School System, today truly marks the commencement or beginning of your amazing life as a successful and independent adult. I had a couple parents ask me to emphasize that independent part, so uh, independent adults, right? As you move out of your comfort zone, I encourage you to embrace your chosen life with courage and confidence. Mark Twain said it best over a century ago, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Second, as you're exploring and dreaming, never forget where you came from. 35 years ago, I stood in your shoes as a high school senior, excited and anxious for what my future held. Three decades ago, simple success in high school usually translated into a successful life. This is no longer the case, as global economics and job requirements have changed significantly over the years. In addition, mandates and directives from governments and agencies have forced all educators to narrowly pursue strict academic goals, arguably at the expense of some essential life skills. Thankfully, political winds are shifting, and non-educators are finally acknowledging what good teachers have known for generations. Social-emotional skills matter just as much in determining life satisfaction and success as discrete test scores. Students, you are very soon to be the 46th graduating class from Wild Lake, a school that has always embraced the whole person, as evidenced by an amazing and rich variety of clubs, activities, and performing groups. You're embracing these opportunities and modeling life skills like teamwork, empathy, grit, integrity, and embracing and celebrating our diverse community while doing so. 
make it very clear that you know who you are is so much more important than simply what you know. Never forget that all of your Wild Lake experiences have prepared you for an amazing, amazing future. Finally, as you continue to explore and discover, please continue to be nice. Don't get me wrong. Don't let others confuse your kindness with weakness. You can be a fierce competitor and a strong leader who is passionate about winning and still be professional, fair, and kind. And you should, not just because it's good for your chosen career, but because it will make you happier at the end of each day. Anyone else remember one of the happiest people in the world from my youth, Mr. Rogers? Yeah, I'm dating myself. The same TV star who countlessly times sang, forgive me, Mr. Krause. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I'm no Kareem, but okay. In all, <clears throat> in all seriousness, that same Mr. Rogers once said, if you could only sense how important you are to the lives of those you meet, how important you can be to the people you happen to cross paths with, there is something of yourself that you leave at every meeting with another person. Please do everything in your power, students, to make that something the genuine impression that you are the kind and caring person that I personally now know you to be. On that note, students, I sincerely thank you for providing me the privilege, true privilege, of being your principal this year. Your kind acts and fun-filled and creative personalities have left an indelible mark on me. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Quite simply, Wild Lake High School Class of 2018, I am very, very proud and honored to now call each of you Wild Lake alum. Congratulations. Graduates, are you ready? Yeah. Now for the reason we're all here. Mrs. Delmont Small and Dr. Martirano, as principal of Wild Lake High School, I hereby certify that the students seated before you have met all the requirements for graduation as set for... <laughs> As set forth by the Howard County Public School System and the Maryland State Department of Education, they are now eligible to receive a Maryland High School Diploma, a Certificate of Completion, Certificate of Attendance, or Certificate of Achievement. At this time, it is my sincere pleasure to introduce our kind and caring Interim Superintendent, Dr. Michael J. Martirano. Good afternoon, Wild Lake High School. Good afternoon, Wild Lake High School. You look marvelous, absolutely marvelous. And I want to start by saying you're welcome. No, you are truly welcome. See, I'm the guy that closes schools on inclement weather days. Yeah, yeah, now. So you received seven days this year, and you don't have to make them up. And even one of those was a wind day. That's how much I love you. <laughs> Sorry, parents. I know those disruptive uh, com those decisions cause you great concern. I received many of your emails. I appreciate that as well. Thank you very much on that note. Can't seem to win on that one. Young people, I want you to look at me. My message is very crisp. As your superintendent, I am so proud of you. We have placed you symbolically in the middle of this arena. Think about it. Symbolically, it's all about you. We have our elected officials, our school system officials on stage, making certain that everything is done just right. All of your family members, all of your friends, all of your community members surrounding you with love. And my message is very crisp. There is no question 
that you've just been certified to make, make certain that all of your requirements have been met. It is my job to ensure that every graduate does that along with our Board of Education. But the reality is that you have those skills, and as you leave us, how will you use those skills to better humankind? What will you do with those gifts that have been given to you to make a difference in the world? And all I'm asking is a simple message. I want you to carry forth all of your great skills with compassion and with care and with kindness and, yes, with love. I want you to reach out to others as you move forward in your journey and reach your hand down to the ones who are less fortunate, who are lost, and need additional support. Because every now and then we all need additional support. And how I want you to define your life is based upon how you treat others. And please promise me this, that you will love to eradicate hate. In this world, there is so much hate, and we see it every day. And I want you to use your great compassion and your care and your love to eradicate hate. Can you promise me that? Absolutely. So ladies and gentlemen, young people, I am so proud of all of you. And now let me get off the stage so that we can now move forward with the, the diplomas distribution. But before that, let me introduce Ms. Christina Delmont Small. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I have the honor on behalf of the Board of Education to bring greetings and, congratul greetings and congratulations to the Wild Lake class of 2018. Now, I wouldn't even try to top the advice of your classmates, Principal Wilson, Superintendent Martirano. So I did the next best thing. I went to Google. And did you know I found that National Public Radio has compiled the best 350 commencement speeches ever. So I'm going to share with you a quote from J.K. Rowling's 2008 speech at Harvard University. And here it is. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Now, I have a longer version and a shorter version of my speech. Which do you want? They are so smart. Let's get your diplomas then. Razia Asim Abbasi. Javier Alonso Aguin Ordonez. Walid Ahmed. Keontae Richard Aldridge. 
Abu Nisaka Alote Magruder. Jayla Irie Alums. Saira Mariela Aparicio Viegas. Alicia Arnold. Michael Eugene Arsenault. Jordan Louis Asafo Ajay. Eunice Chinua Aoa. Quinche Darcel Bailey. Jamal Allen Barber. Isaiah Thayer Barnes. Alexander Berland. Alexander Miguel Nuega Viamo. Donovan Michael Bisco. Kylie Blair Bittner Parrish. Cameron Ray Blair. Nicole Nita Blair. Samantha Cheyenne Betker. Nicholas Michael Boggs. Dayton Mikhail Borgia. William Joseph Brinkley. John James Browder. Jennifer Canellas. Hartley Bayon Carlson. Cameron Darren Carter. Jermaine Carter Jr. Brian Jose Castillo. Brandon Alois Chimidi. Alexander Piaco Chang. Jalil Clayton Coleman. Ryan Matthew Colquitt. Raul Rafael Cordero. Chloe Claudette Richson Costley. Elise Anna Crouch. Michaela Lola Cruz. Tiffany Amber Dang. Yo Nile DeWitt. Stephen Edward Deboy. Yasasum Ibrima Dean. Tashe Ayana Delay. Carly Tess DeSessa. Garrett Lane Dickerson. Rachel Elizabeth Eisenhower. Maya Carolyn English. Nelson Leonard Espinoza. Isan Indar Tariq Fanusi. Diana Megan Ferdinand. Shalante Ruby Finley. Sarah Marie Fitch. Dominic Austin Fletcher. Andrew Nanaya Fasu. Rajay Tazira Francis. Amy Maria Gardner. Jennifer Elaine Garnett. Killian Leticia Gatto. Beria Emmanuel Giletta. Catherine Rose Giamalvo. Brittany Renee Wangui Gichiru Brooks. Brian Anthony Jerome Sanchez. Jefferson Robert Gomez Moran. Trayvon DeAndre Gordon. 
Isaiah Marion Gore. Jalen Marcus Grant. Ricardo Makai Green. Saquon Keelan Griffin. Chloe Bryn Griffiths. Olivia Louise Garuso. Eugene Hanwell Hahn. Bailey Ann Harris. Devante Jose Harris. Matthew Ethan Harris. Elizabeth Amanda Hartley. Max Emmanuel Hill. Jeffrey Clifton Hodges Jr. Benton Alexander Holden. Charles Robert Howard the fourth. Mitchell Evan Howard. Samuel Justin Howard. Lorne Nastasia Dieri Hughes Pope. Maggie Marie Hunt. John Chike Ijirobi. Carolyn Ann Ingham. Ryan Benjamin Ingram. Madeline Cecilia Ives. Deja Tylea Wilson Jackson. Savannah Marie Jackson. Amber Renee Johnson. Deontay Stephen Johnson. Daje India Johnson. Jasmine Alexis Johnson. Kyla David Johnson. Stella Chesapeake Johnson. Emma Marie Jordan. David Emmanuel Joseph. Profilando Joseph. Mariel Isabella Kelly Judd. Hak Hyun Kim. Francis Laverne King III. Kayla Catherine Kalastic. Imasha Enuki Kupu Arachi. Omni Utopia Lawrence. Ethan Kleinfelter Lee. Daming Lee. Jordan Stephen Long. Yasmin Audrea Mack. Elena Del Carmen Mancias Gayton. Vincent Robert Marianelli. Gabriel Alexander Matos. Grace Ann McCarthy. Kylie Rachel McDermott. Tyrone McFadden. Aiden Connor McGonagall. Jenea Janaya McKenzie. Julia Nicole Mendez. Sarah Ampong Mensa. Zoe Elizabeth Minor. Stephanie Amber Mobley. Kinsey Dariella Montoya Monroy. Aaliyah Shantise Moore. 
Jackson Henry Moore. Malcolm Tyrone Emmanuel Moore. Taylor Lauren Morton. Jeremy Rinsanga Moses. Jada Elena Mylan Moss. Nardos Taneja Nana. Muhammad Taha Nasir. Jalen Charles Neal. Nehemia Debremaharet Nagash. William Lewis Nelson II. Amia Joy Newman. Ryan William Newsom. Jeremy Edward Nichols. Gregory Obang Ajaman. Michael Ada Orduro. Naya Erica O'Neill. Zulema Del Carmen Oriano Portillo. Tierney Mikkel Destiny Owens. Logan Matthews Petrick. Delaney Lavelle Porter. Jason Anthony Leonardo Quinones Jr. Heidi Milares Ramonas Tesorero. Joshua Nathaniel Reed. Bisal Regmi. Isabella Josephine Ray. Faith Micaiah Robertson. Peter Anand Robinson. Eunice Elizabeth Rodriguez Martinez. Nick Romero Diaz. Adriana Estanislao, Rosa Estanislao. Asia Marche Ross. Brittany Nicole Rotolo. David Evron Rucker. Nicholas Sachs. Sydney Alexis Samuels. Cassandra Donora Sanchez. Alexis Andrea Sanchez Benitez. Nimoy Travis Sanders. Destiny Lorraine Saunders. Matthew James Schlau. Kevin Schroeder. Anna Catherine Self. Nathan Victor Shulman. Damantheep Singh. Sarah Set Spall. Griffin Thomas Spillane. Kyle Charles Stanfield II. Lily Sharon Stevens. Noah Isaac Sutger. Gavin Miles Taylor. Stanley Thomas III. Tori Lauren Tobias. Jocelyn Johanna Torres Giron. Avery Zuyan Dietz Trin. Kenji Sukamoto. Calvin Marshall Tuttle. Elaine Camille Valentin. Andrew Law Van Tassel. Gerald Henry Van Tassel. 
Angeline Amelia Van Zeelen. Nicholas Voss. Marvin Vincent. Elizabeth Ann Verostic. Victoria Chanel Wade. Tyler Joseph Wells. Alicia Monet Williams. Antoine Von Trey Williams. Grace Ann Williams. Jariah Mayan Williams. Logan Taylor Williams. Trinity Ann Tayana Williams. Taiki Ashia Williams. Xavier Richard Amir Witherspoon. John Lee Woods III. Natalie Janae Woolwine. Hazel Yakub. Daniel Joel Yellen. May Ya Zhang. Lois Ajewa Akomia. Ana Maria Barrera Hernandez. Zuleika Nzinga Musa Brown. Jasmine Janelle Davis. DeAndre Malik Dyson. Hugh Alexander Frazier. Cecilia Jean Fritz. Jennifer Summer Lloyd. Melanie Ling Hansen. Patricia Jane Hargreaves. Natalia Ann Hicks. Jane Macklem Hilger. Sophia Rose Hilger. Daryl Xavier Jeffries Jr. Mac Henry Lavin. Melissa Camille Lund. Maureen Ose. Mateo Kamari Parsons. Anna Liz Paria Balbi. Kyle Robert Ryder. F.A. Sarah Unigbi. Monet Tondalea Washington. Liam Randolph Wheeler. Sita Lindsay Williams. <clears throat> Mrs. Delmont Small, please allow the following Howard County Public School System staff members to award their children's diplomas. Tracy Adler, Wild Lake High School. Haley Francis Adler. Suzanne Aubin, Patapsco Middle School. Catherine Rose Aubin. Amora Bailey, Wild Lake High School. Alicia Ulett Bailey. Jill Balthus, Swansfield Elementary School. Thomas Ryan Balthus. Yeah. 
Drew Dykus, Hammond High School. Bailey Anderson Messina Dykus. Jeanette Dixon, Wild Lake High School, John Patrick Stanko Dixon. <laughs> Meredith Adams, Wild Lake High School, Calvin Blaze Adams Guerra. <laughs> Pamela Humiston, Forest Ridge and Laurel Woods Elementary Schools. Matthew Connor Humiston. Mika Washington, Duckett Lane, Duckett's Lane Elementary School, Salim Ashard Jackson. <laughs> Jerry Lingham. Pointers Run Elementary School, Sydney Nicole Lingham. <laughs> Ellen Mackey, Running Brook Elementary School, Connor Patrick Mackey. Daria Nebish, Northfield Elementary School. Dimitro Voldemir Lazowski Nebish. <laughs> Martha Gwynn, Veterans Elementary School. Julia Sarah Gwynn. Margaret Palmieri, Phelps Luck Elementary School, Daniel Lewis Palmieri. <laughs> Alexia Red, St. John's Lane Elementary School, Michael Darrell Red. Joan Stralker, Lime Kelm Middle School, Matthew John Stralker. <laughs> Donna Tiffy, Forest Ridge Elementary School. Andrew Mitchell Tiffy. <laughs> Andrew, 
Amy Van Otzel, Thunderhill Elementary School, Hannah Marie Van Otzel. Destiny Adabumi Adele. Kenye Shamaya Chambers. Kalia Dara Conway. Julie Ann Davis. Yosef Faleki Guta. Nathan Anthony Haley. George William Hunter IV. Kate Elizabeth Jasuski. Romeo Q. Johnson. Alhajiosman Kalilu Danke Kamara. Sydney Morgan Lee. Jordan Naya Lagra. Anaya Nicole Matthews. Deasia Shade Mosby. Evelyn Emudia Amorji. Alana Rose Orzak. Kayla Vivian Orzak. Kareem Demarcus Press. Leodella Alexandra Sands. Marjorie Joy Swearman. Jaden Alexi Sykes. Zuha Wasti. Leslie Elizabeth Alvarez. Marilyn Amaya Landaverde. Deshay Monet Coley Epps. Gabriela Michelle Colocho. Adanya Elizabeth Coger Hobson. Kate Richards Lachlan. Andrea Natalia Menalili Orpia. Ashmi Rajesh Patel. Nahom Mesfin Zaliki. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for coming and celebrating the class of 2018. We would like to please remind you to remain seated. Please remain seated. We would like to please remind you to remain seated until all the graduates have processed out so that everyone has an opportunity to see their graduate process out. I will now welcome a senior class executive board member, Ashmi Patel, to close out our ceremony. Congratulations, class of 2018 graduates. To signify and crossing over from high school to the next chapter of your lives, Please join me in moving your tassel from the left to the right. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Congrats, seniors, we did it.